Forget freeze-dried meals and vacuum-sealed snacks. The next big breakthrough in space, dining, might come straight from thin air. As humanity dreams of walking on Mars and building bases on the moon, the European Space Agency is tackling one of space travel's biggest challenges, food. Enter Project Hobi One, a bold experiment that could turn air, microbes, and a hint of recycled resources into a protein-rich meal. The goal isn't just to feed astronauts, but to help them survive and thrive far from Earth. It's a taste of the future where dun dinner could quite literally be made out of nothing. Here's our report telling you more. Zero and what will astronauts eat when they head to the moon or so Mars? That question has puzzled scientists for decades. Uh, it has no SRBs. Because right now, food for the International Space Station is made on Earth and sent into orbit. It works for short missions. But sending supplies millions of kilometers away? Impossible. So, the European Space Agency is trying something extraordinary. It's called Project Hobiwan, short for hydrogen oxidizing bacteria in weightlessness as a source of nutrition. The goal is bold, to make food from thin air. At the heart of this idea is a powdered protein called Solane. It's created by a Finnish company. Their technology uses microbes, air, and electricity to make a fine, protein-rich powder. No plants, no sunlight, just clever science. On Earth, the process already works, but space is a very different kitchen. Here, gases and liquids float. Nutrients move slowly. Reactions change. The biggest difference? The nitrogen source. On Earth, that comes from ammonia. In space, it will come from urea, a compound found in human urine. It may sound odd, but it's smart. It means astronauts can recycle their own waste to grow food. Nothing goes to waste in space, says a scientist working with the European Space Agency. This project aims at developing a key resource which will allow us to improve human spaceflight's autonomy. Over the next eight months, experts will build and test the system on Earth. If it works, they will send it to the ISS for trials in microgravity. That's when the real test begins. And if successful, this would be a first in human history. Growing food in space without soil, plants, or sunlight. It's a step towards total independence in space travel, say scientists. For human beings to carry out long missions on the moon, or even one day to Mars, we'll need sustainable solutions. This is one of them. The idea might sound futuristic, but it's rooted in simple logic, survival. Space is harsh, lonely, and resource scarce. Every drop and every molecule counts. So the next time astronauts ask, what's for dinner? The answer might be the air around you. Want the facts? The latest developments. News that gets straight to the point. Well, we've got all three just for you. This is First Post Live, a brand new show. Your window into what really matters. Don't miss it.